And do you remember the day the war started? Yes. I was standing in our living room in what is now Priory Lane, Phoenix Green. And I was standing near, but between the window and the living room door. And Father had ordered us to keep quiet. There was three or four of us children there at the time. And he uh, put the word, he had the wireless on, and he says, This means we, we'll have to go without things for a while. I remember him saying that, but uh, I can remember the Prime Minister saying, We are no war with Germany. That was the uh, what's his name? Chamberlain. Sorry? Chamberlain. Chamberlain. Because he lived quite local over at Heckfield, a few miles from home. And uh, his sisters lived in Odium, if I remember right. But not that I ever knew him or met him, you know, going, hear his voice now in my head, saying we are now at war with Germany. Yeah. And what do you think of his policy of appeasing Hitler? Come again? What do you think of Chamberlain uh, making the agreement with Hitler in 1938? I don't know. Uh, I've never really dwelt on that, really. But... Thinking back, I don't think it should have taken place. No. But I can't really give much of an answer to that one. And do you... So were you going to say something? No. <laughs> do you remember the uh, preparations people were making for war? Oh, yes. Digging, digging uh, big holes in the garden. Filling it uh, with... Uh, Corrugated iron at the walls on the inside there, big hole, with steps leading down to it. In fact, that's what I was doing myself in our own garden on the day the uh, thousand pound, thousand pound, <laughs> thousand plane bomber raid was to take place. Uh, some people had done it much earlier, of course. And then there's the, you could purchase the, uh, let me see, the Anderson Shelters. And there's another one. Uh, Morrison? Morrison, that's right. Yeah. I know, while I was on leave once, uh, I went down to my sister in Folkestone and we had to get in this this shelter that was in her living room in the corner under the table it was, the table was over the top of it and because of the bombing raid and I'd never been so scared in my life sitting in there because if a bomb had come down <coughs> I think you would just been buried you know I could never quite work out the reason for the such places like that I could understand the huge larger underground shelters that they had, but for the individual having a one in their house, I, I couldn't quite see that. But there we go. That was about it, I think. Do you, were there any, any air raids where you lived? Yes, uh, there was one. Now, this would have been... When there weren't that... Wasn't an actual raid on the village or area, but a bomb was dropped and landed in a field right on the outskirts of the village, which I actually saw leave the Dornier aircraft while I was w working as a garden boy. This would have been in, what, 1942, I guess. Uh, I was working at Winchfield House. Uh, 
owned by Colonel Charrington. And this lone aircraft was kept flying over in daylight one afternoon. And we saw the actual bomb doors open and see the bomb leave the aircraft and it landed in the field uh, close to what we call Mount Pleasant in Harley, Harley Whitney. And uh, no one was injured or anything, but we did, I did view the crater later in the evening and uh, there's a few windows I believe broken, but no, no casualties. And that's about the only one I can remember uh, local, although whether it was a home at the time, and I don't know, but I understand there's a few found or had been dropped along the near the railway line at a place we call Elf of them, which is a couple of three miles from here, but I, I don't know any details on that one.